swimming with dolphins, splashing among the flowers, floating with the bubbles. Imagine the impossible. Henry and George, they're twin, identical twins, and they're four. They started the school in September. Um, they both have autism and sensory processing disorder. Joe's um, diagnosis is um, autistic spectrum disorder, and then there's several things that sort of go hand in hand with that. Um, so they both are, cl are classed as non-verbal, have non-verbal autism, so their communication is minimal. Dane Court is a primary special school, so all of the children here have an EHCP, which is Education, Health and Care Plan, so they have some level of special educational needs. So they all learn in very different ways, and in order to make it successful, it's about looking at each child as an individual. They needed to be in a provision like this school, because they need constant help. Every child with special needs sees the world in their own unique way and here at Dane Court they want to help every one of their children explore the world in the fullest way possible but in a completely safe environment and that means an immersive sensory room where everything is controllable from lights and sound to temperature and vibration even smell. So it's going to provide the children with something that they're not going to be able to access anywhere else. Because we look at each of our children completely individually, we can turn that classroom into whatever we want it to be. So having the immersive room on site at school in a safe environment that the children are familiar with um, can, can make it easier for them to, to enjoy. Yeah, I think it's amazing. Um, I, the fact that it can give you an experience not just on a visual level, I'll, I thought, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, the smoke puffing out, um, the, the, the wind blowing. Apparently Joe really loved that. It really will change some of the children's lives. It's not just a thing that they're going to play with. It will give them a chance to potentially experience things that they might not want to or feel comfortable in, in the real world. And it suits them because at the end of the day it's about them. It's about having something that suits their needs. And it's so versatile, so there might be, as they grow and they get different interests, different likes, the room can adapt to that. Oh, it's, it's just amazing because you actually see a lot of them come alive and you see them respond in a way that you just wouldn't get to see within a, a regular classroom. An immersive classroom with this incredible touch-sensitive, interactive technology would make a real difference to the lives of children here at Dane Court, but it doesn't come cheap. To fit out a full permanent classroom here will cost somewhere in the region of £150,000. So anything that you can do to help us raise that money will be amazing. You want your children to have the world. I don't want there to be a limit on what Henry and George can achieve or what they experience. So if we did that and provided them with something that they can do all those things with, it would mean a lot because it would mean that you don't feel like they're missing out on anything. This is a huge target, it's a huge amount of money, but we do think it's realistic and we honestly all believe that actually the impact that it will have for the children just kind of is, will just be huge and it will be worth every penny. With your help, our children will be able to imagine the impossible. We're asking you to help us to imagine the impossible and bring this wonderful immersive room to Dane Court School. The campaign is called Imagine the Impossible. But with your help, we can make the impossible real. We'd like everybody to donate. <laughs> <laughs>